Well, Miss Bradford, here we are. You'll be landing in a few moments now. It's a beautiful spot, isn't it? Are all the islands that small? Yes, indeed. Very rich in copra, properly worked. But the natives are too lazy and the whites are not interested. Yes, Mr. Armstrong wrote me and told me there was great opportunity here. Oh, yes, indeed. We'll uh, lower away a small boat in a few moments and I'll have the men take you ashore. Thank you. Goodbye and good luck to you. Thank you. Another drink. Now, I gotta be sober when Ellen arrives. See, that boat's not due pretty soon. Ah, oh, you've got lots of time before Miss Bradford arrives. Okay. I guess I can stay with you. How many cars? I'll play these. Well, what you got? Full house. luck. Maybe it'll be better next time. There won't be any next time. I always lose when I play with you. Just a minute. I'll take your IOU for that last deck. Now, 
Come on, Armstrong. Huh? Come, we better go lay down. Come on. Yeah, but I got the bolt. I will come yeah. with me. Lay down in the back here. He's got the good jack on. What? He's in good spirit. Oh. You lay down. Hey, play the yoker. You can't play the joker. Why can't I play the yoker? Because you can't play it in this game. Well, I play it anyway. Get out of here. I'm looking for Mr. Armstrong. They told me I'd find him here. Mr. Armstrong has been called to one of the other islands on business. He asked me to look after you till he returns. How long will he be? He might be several hours, Miss Bradford. Your good friend Armstrong has told me about you. I am Captain Herman von Lutz. I'm awfully glad to know you. This is hardly the place for you to wait. I'm sure you would be more comfortable in my quarters. Hey, oi. Show Miss Bradford to my living room. See, she has everything she wants. And see, she is not disturbed. Thank you. You are very kind. It is a pleasure to serve a friend of Mr. Armstrong. Some people go in for collecting things, bits of china, or even precious pearls. My favorite hobby much more pleasure brings. I cruise the world in search of girls. Wherever I go, it's so nice to know I've got a girl in every form. Wherever I roam, I can sing and sleep home. I've got a girl in every form. In Nagasaki, Singapore, Tango, Tango, too. I've even got a lima bean who lives down in Peru. If I go above, I'll have an angel to love. I've got a girl in every form. Wherever I go, it's so nice to know. I've got a girl in every form. This looks like the island, all right. Head her in. Right! have a lot of women in it. Look at it. You take care of the pearls and let me have the girls, huh? Here I am. 
Come on, bring it in. Come on up, folks. The drinks are on me. Let us know, Wahini. You've been a good girl since I've been away. Good evening. Go on now, Pop. Beat it. Right, I'm going to take care of all these girls without any help. None of you guys come near me at all. Now, you all behave yourself, and I'm going to feed you, and I'm going to water you right here. <laughs> Oh, what is better than good clear beer and a beautiful gal on your knee? What more could any sailor ask when he's fresh in from sea? A tankard of ale that's not too pale and a gal whose kiss is free. What is better than good clear beer and a beautiful gal on your knee? Drink it up, drink it up. Robbing the natives. Pearl? Plenty. There's a lot more, too. I thought maybe you'd like to horn in. Isn't it because you're getting tired of the joint and you wanted me to drop by and pick you up, is it? No, nothing like that. But I'll be with you when you shove off. Hey, listen. Okay. Give me a bottle of wine and three or four glasses of. Hello, Madagascar. Hey, that's Madagascar. Get yourself a drink. Yeah, I know. You remember Madagascar. You should be with us. Shut on... up, you fool. You're not supposed to know it. Oh, sure. I know how it is. I don't know you, Madagascar. No, I don't know. Fill him up. Come on, folks. Good time Tolly's buying again. Hey, I'm looking for a fellow by the name of Lutz. You know where he is? In there, Captain. Follow on, Mr. Jeff. Mike. How have you been, Mike? Oh, I've been fine. I'm always fine when I don't see much of you. <laughs> well, a little bit heavier, a little bit uglier than the last time I saw you. <laughs> Good Lord, he's turned pansy. <laughs> oh, I spilled it. It's all right, Mike. You don't have to apologize to me. Who's apologizing? Okay, Mike, but just what is Mr. Mine? Just what do you want here? To tell you the truth, Mike, I came to buy some pearls. Like you bought my boatload of guns at San Salando, huh? I wouldn't have hijacked them from you, Mike, if you hadn't have tried to double-cross me. You never seem to learn. Uh -huh. Now, see here, Thorn. I'm boss on this island. And if you want to buy pearls, you've got to have the money. Money is something that I haven't got anything else but, Mike. Oh. You don't know some nice little white girl that I could spend some of it on, do you? There isn't a white woman on the island. Okay, Mike. You won't mind if I look around a little bit then, will you? 
<laughs> Hello, beautiful. Thorn is the name. Jim Thorn. What did they christen you? I'm Miss Bradford. Ellen Bradford. Okay, Ellen. I'm just in from a big trip. I've got a lot of partying to do. I'm holding heavy, and if you want the moon, I'll buy it for you. But before we start, let's have a lot of drinks, eh? Oh, what do you have? Thank you. I wouldn't care for anything to drink. <laughs> oh, don't be like that, kid. Come on, let's put on a big party and get cockeyed. What do you say? Your offer flatters me, but I'm not interested in getting cockeyed. Oh, don't be bashful, honey. I'm not hard to take. Where's your phonograph? Phonograph? I have no phonograph. Oh, that's okay. I've got a swell radio outfit on the ship. What do you say we go out there, huh? Thank you. But I'm going to stay right here. Okay with me, kid. It's an awful sucker trick, though, to hang around with Lutz when I'm so easy to get. Well, I barely know Captain Von Lutz. He merely permitted me to wait here for Mr. Armstrong. Then you're not Von Lutz's girl? Most certainly not. Well, I thought... Say, who's this Armstrong? Mr. Armstrong is the man I'm engaged to. I came here to marry him. Oh. Sure. I'm sorry. I should have known. Known what? That a girl like you wouldn't be hanging around with that old gorilla. You see, Mr. Armstrong didn't know when I'd get here. I arrived in Stuba Wednesday. Had to wait over a couple of days for a trading boat. Oh. Perhaps we could send a message to him at the plantation. Oh, he's not at the plantation. He's on one of the other islands. <laughs> Strange that he didn't meet you, knowing that there were no other white women on the island. Oh, I'm not afraid. I'm sure Mr. Armstrong will be along soon. What's going on here? Roy, dear. It's all right. I said, what's going on here? Why, Captain Von Luz told me you were in a neighboring island, and I came here to wait for you. It's fine. This fellow been annoying you? No, he's been... My name's Thorn. I... He's been kind enough to entertain me while I was waiting. Sorry, Mr. Thorne. Apologize. I didn't quite understand. See, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not quite myself, you know. Yeah, I understand. Perhaps you'd better sit down a little while. Eh? No, 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 oh, no. Goodbye. That's It'll quite all right. Now, don't, now, don't you worry about me. Now, Ellen, dear, I've got to get you and your baggage to the plantation. Oh, we come here to rob some guy. I forget what his name was. Oh, let me think. With what? Oh, with what? Oh, no, not with what. I was telling the guy... To... Come on, I got a job for you. Well, you guys wait here, and if I can remember who this guy is we're going to rob, I'll tell you. One of my men will take you to your plantation safely. Thank you. Oh, it's all right. Oh, but Come on, really, old man, that's not necessary at all. Right. Beauty will take you there and stay for any orders necessary. Good time. Yeah. That's... Please, I think it'll be better. But I'm deeply obligated to you, old boy. Oh, oh it's all right. Don't mention it. <laughs> Oh, 
Say that till he sobers up, you understand? No. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'll be back as soon as this guy's pinnacle flakes out. You must be, Roy, that I can't marry you until you've proven that all this is past. But, dear, we'll be married, and then... Please, Roy, I told you I'll not marry you until you've proven that you've changed. You're absolutely right, Ellen. The burden of proof does rest with me, and I'll show you. Oh, I know you will. You just watch me go. Of course, the old plantation is a bit run down. But with you here, I've got a real incentive to build it up. And I'll help. I want to do my share to bring back the lovable Roy I first knew. Tomorrow, I'll arrange for a longer working day. The natives have had an easy time of it. But from now on, every man's going to work plenty hard, including myself. You are supposed to be the prettiest girl on the island, ain't you? I am prettiest girl. And you're clever, ain't you? Hmm? I'm clever like Harry. Then you can find some way to get him to drink with you. Oh. Why do you want him to drink? So you see, fancy woman, huh? None of your business. You do as you are told. All right. But you have to have money for buy bangles to make you people. Then Roy can drink with her like you want. That is not enough for buy 50 bangles. That is all you get. You will be paid a rest when the job is finished. And you be quiet, woman. Huh? Keep your mouth shut, you understand? Oh, I understand. Country is no place for this kind of work. <laughs> hey, Judy. Huh? Oh, 
Yeah, okay, wait a minute. I got some business to do. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the way you look after the plantation? Yeah. It is. No. No, I go over to the front porch once in a while and drag me eye over the joint. Everything's all right. There's been no trouble? No, that ain't no trouble. Oh, over there. No, yeah. there ain't no trouble. A while ago, these Wahinis, they get to fighting about me, and I smacked a couple of them down, and everything's been great. <laughs> go on back to your way. Yeah. Oh, that ain't boy. That's a lot of fun. They elected me king. Sort of a bell ram. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Thorne. Oh, I, I thought perhaps I'd drop around, Mrs. Armstrong, and apologize for my mistake this afternoon. Not Mrs. Armstrong. I'm still Miss Bradford. Oh. We've decided to postpone the wedding temporarily. Mr. Armstrong is quite all right, I hope. Oh, yes. He's just gone to his quarters. I'll send him over to tell him you're here. Oh, no, no. Don't bother, I... I'll just be staying a minute. I want to thank you for your assistance today. Oh, don't mention it. I had to square myself somehow for mistaking you for Lutz's girl. Oh, I should have known better. What were you going to do? Sort of even things up with him for the affair with Plum Blossom? Hey... Who told you about that? Why, I was in the next room. And the walls down there are pretty thin, so I couldn't help overhearing. I'm sorry. You know, one doesn't expect to find women like you in Lutz's rooms. I told you, you're not to come here again. But Poppy, bring Roy fellow. A nice ring. I'm not drinking anymore. No. No. Now you get out of here and take your nice drink along with you. not going to stay. Now, here, you take your drink right along with you. Now, you get out of here. Do you understand? Now, I'm leaving word with the foreman in the morning not to let you hear again. Now, get out. I know I'm going to love it here. Don't be fooled by the spell of the South Seas that you read in books. There are a lot of things that you won't like here. I must admit I didn't get the best impression in the world from that terrible dive this afternoon. Nor from the men that you met? Don't remind yourself of that. I can readily understand your mistake. <laughs> What is 
native music. Song of the Island. With all your island knowledge, perhaps you can tell me what it means in English. Yes, I think I could. That wedding was called off, wasn't it? No, just postponed. Seems like a shame not to have a wedding when you have all that swell grub and everything. What did you put it off for? Oh, because it seemed expedient. Yeah, it was speedy. It was a swell break for you, anyhow. A swell break? Sure. You've got a chance now to grab off Thorn. Well, I am fortunate indeed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he likes you. He, he told me to come over here and hang around, and if you needed anything for me to tell him. Well, I'll not be needing anything, so it'll really be unnecessary for you to remain. Yeah, I'll stay. 
You know, he don't generally treat them like he does you. He doesn't? No, he loves them and leaves them. You don't say. Yeah. You know, he's a swell guy. What do you call it, Juan? White Sea Captain. Captain Fine. Hello, boy. Hello, boy. Oh, monkey. Mine, bro. Well, I'll buy these and I'll give you lots of money for them. <laughs> hey, you old Wahini. I. No, that round one over there. I? Yeah, you gonna be home tonight? What do you mean, be home? Oh, anywhere around here. You know, maybe we could uh, go swimming or something. Oh, aye, aye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you get any more, you'll know where to bring them, eh? You treat us native honeys. We'd be good to you. Be plenty of Fine. Fine. Mahalo. Mahalo. Hey, beauty. <laughs> we ought to have a celebration on that, eh, beauty? Yeah. Let's go ashore and have a drink, eh? Yeah, I, I just saying we ought to do something. <laughs> Hello, baby. Ah. Well, thanks. You're all right. You are doing, right? Hey, you think some more? I think. Some people go in for collecting things. Bits of china, or even precious pearls. My favorite hobby much more pleasure brings. I cruise the world in search of girls. Wherever I go, it's so nice to know I've got a girl in every port. Wherever I roam, I can think of sweet home. I've got a girl in every port. In Nagasaki, Singapore, Tango, Tango, too. I've even got a lima bean who lives down in Peru. If I go above, I'll have an angel to love. I've got a girl in every book. Is Captain Von Lutz here? Yes, ma'am. Back there in his quarters. Thank you. Are well, you... Miss Bradford, I am sure glad to see you. Come in. How is my friend Armstrong? I haven't seen much of him since you've been here. He's been working very hard, and the plantation is coming along splendidly. Good. And if he needs any further help, I'll be glad to... Thank you, Captain. I came to learn the extent of Mr. Armstrong's obligations to you. I don't believe I can tell you offhand. You see, I have given the matter so little thought. Isn't it a fact that you have a half interest in the plantation as security for advances? Yes, that is true. 
But I hope he isn't worrying about it. That's just it. I feel he is worrying about it. So I'm going to settle the amount myself. That is entirely unnecessary. But of course, if you... I'm sure Mr. Armstrong's mind will be much freer if it is paid. Very well, Miss Bradford. If you will drop around, say, in a day or so, I'll be very glad to straighten it out. Thank you, Captain. Good day. <laughs> Miss Bradford, this is no place for a white woman to come alone. I came here on business. This is no place for a white woman to come, even on business. Thank you, Mr. Thorne. When I'm in need of your assistance, I'll ask for it. <laughs> it's always my pleasure to serve the ladies when they request it. <laughs> ladies, man, it's not so hot today, huh? What do you say to a little game of poker, Thorne? Been a long time since you and I sat in the game. No, thanks, Mike. You're too clever for me. Much too clever. Afraid, huh? No, just not in the mood, that's all. Some other time, eh? All right. You won't go back to China. Oh, well, well. Hello, oh, baby. Are you looking for me? Wait a minute. Last chances for a day. Will you let me pass? It's all right, baby. Oh. We got lots of money. We Jeez. just come off the boat, and we're going to have a big time. Us and you, huh? I saw her first. She's no. mine. Mr. I saw Thorne. her first. Mr. Thorne! She's mine. I saw I her first. I saw her first. No, sir. Oh, well. oh so you are oh, mine, yeah. huh? <laughs> Say, what's all this mess around? What's the matter? Oh, you see, boss, I was... Who are you hitting, anyway? Well, I'm... Oh, well, no. Oh, are you hurt, Mr. Thorne? Oh, no, I'm all right. I think you owe me another coat, though. Oh, I'll mend it for you if you send out the plantation. Oh, I don't know what I'd done if you hadn't. Heard your call for help? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I saw them stop you, but as long as you told me that you'd call me when you needed help, I, I thought I'd wait for your call. Thank you, Mr. Thorne, for your assistance. I'm very appreciative. Good day. <laughs> oh, don't mention it. If you ever need me again, why, sing out. Yeah, sing out. Set him up, Madagasky. new out at the plantation? Oh, nothing. Everything looks swell. Has that native girl probably been out there lately? No, no, ain't nobody been out there. How's Miss Bradford? Oh, she's swell. She does. He, he run out on her. Who run out on her? He Armstrong. Where'd he go? Oh, wham, that's what I forgot to tell you. Him and her had the long party's bouts, and he says, I'm going downtown alone, and I'm going to prove to you that I'm cured. He did? Yeah, and I never even knew he was sick.
together, eh? Sure. I want to talk to you anyway. You stay here with Poppy, Beauty. Yeah, sure. See that she doesn't get lonesome. Yeah. How's Miss Bradford? She's fine, thank you. A wonderful girl, Armstrong. You know that anyhow. I most certainly do. I wouldn't leave her alone uh, if I were you, Armstrong. It isn't quite safe. Well, what do you mean? She's the only white girl here, and, oh, well, no white woman would be safe with Mike Lutz on the same island. I know it. That's why I'm anxious to get out of his debt. Hmm. Gambling debt? Yeah. Much? Half the plantation. You know, it's terribly discouraging sometimes. Let me tell you something, Armstrong. With a girl like Miss Bradford loving you, you'd be rich if you didn't have a dime. Oh, I know that I... Don't worry about the plantation. Show her that you appreciate the many sacrifices she's made for you. Yes, I... I guess you're right. Girl must think an awful lot of a man to come to a place like this and stick. You're absolutely right, Thorne. And a fellow who didn't appreciate it would be just no good. Exactly. Say, you're a great guy. <laughs> come on inside. I've got a little shopping to do myself. Come All on. Right. Just another dream, just above a lot of tears. Oh, how my dreams are gone, but Shall I wake another day, find the vanished all of leaving me so? machinery comes, I'm going to move those storage rooms. It looks different already. Mm -hmm. I told you I'd do it. 
You know, it's really amazing what you've accomplished in these few weeks. You haven't seen anything yet. Well, Ellen, dear, what's the verdict? Verdict? Well, I don't understand. Oh, let's don't beat about the bush. When are we going to be married? You told me you were through with liquor. Can you tell me, honestly, that you've had nothing to drink since I've been here? No. I, I... said honestly. Well, not enough to hurt. Please. I haven't said anything to you. But I've known every time that you've taken a drink. You are having all the luck tonight, Thorne. Yeah, yeah. Well, you never can tell them why you make changes before the night, Thorne. Hey, you just had a sax and a couple of yaks. Yeah, I had two hates. Okay. Well, this is seven guard stud, boys. Dealer's choice. Thanks. And that last one up. Clean for your dealer. Well. Just a minute. Those ten That's worth a hundred. Ten is the best thing I could do for you this time, Mike. And a five for me. <laughs> Not so good. Well, I guess it's worth a hundred. Another clean. A pass showing and a seven for me. Well, what are the ladies worth, Mike? the limit? Well, I guess we'll deal them all out. Another queen. Well, still I might be lucky. That last one may be an ace. A lot of good will do you. Think you have me beaten, do you, Mike? If we weren't playing table stakes, I'd show you how bad. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. You have several of Armstrong's IOUs, haven't you? Yes. I'll just put the works on those. That's a bet. A tough hand to be for. Four ladies. Just a minute. You see that eight? Well, there's three more just like it. That makes four in my kind of arithmetic. You know, you always lose when you depend on the ladies, Mike. Tough break. Better luck next time, eh? Next time can be right now, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I've got a date to buy some pearls from some of the natives. Oh, beauty. Yeah. Cast those checks in with Madagascar, will you? Yeah, sure. A beauty. Yeah. Lutz is a hard loser. Keep your eye open, will you? Yeah. Yeah, I know that game was crooked. Yeah? You don't know how crooked.
We are going to get it all back and more. And we're leaving here on his boat. Yeah, but just how you skull do that? You leave that to me. Hey, beauty. What? Come here. I want to talk to you. Sure. I got business here. What are you doing tonight, beauty? Who, me? Stormsmen, you and the rest of them. Oh, I suppose we'll hang around and get liquored and get into a few jams, just like every other night. Well, I'll tell you something. This is my birthday, yeah. and I'm giving a big party tonight. Oh, swell. That's, uh, that's been my chips by Ingo. Yeah? What about them? Not mine. So, Beauty, you tell all the boys to come in here for a big time, huh? Sure, yeah. Yeah, they like that. Yeah, everything is free. Yeah? You see, I won the show thorn. It don't bother me to lose a few thousand. Oh, uh, you know... The skipper thought you'd be sore about that. <laughs> no. no, not me, Beauty. No? No. So you run along and tell the boys. Yes. Yeah, sure. yeah. Hey, listen, sailors, we're going to pull a luau tonight. It'll knock you all on your back. Sailor, where's Thorn? He's just gone ashore. I must have missed him. How many men did he leave on board? Well, what's that to you? That was a beauty. Here, take him up forward and tie him up. Oh, don't misunderstand me, please. I think that your loyalty is one of the finest things that I've ever known. That's why I'm going away. Going away? Uh, yes, we, we sail in the morning. Oh. This is goodbye, Ellen. Hey, what's the matter? Please, I want you to take me away with you. Who are you? Liquor? Oh, yes. I'm sorry. Perhaps we'd better go back and see what we can do for them, eh? I'd rather not go back there. Won't you please take me to Suva so I can get the first boat home? Well, I'd be very glad to. Armstrong's not with him? No, he said, no, they're, they're by themselves. They'll be on board in a minute. That's not bad. I couldn't have done better myself. <laughs> 